Looking for scaffolding in and around London? All London Scaffolding is your go-to choice. Reliable, reasonable and polite. Click the link below or visit the website to claim your discount. Oi, oi, oi! We've got the proper guys now. We've got the professionals. So give it a rest. Stay there. I welcome to AFCV. It's now time for the player ratings. A 2 0 win to the Arsenal against Wolves. Let's start. I'm going to come to you because I'm going to start with David Raya and you're going to give him a good score. Oh, I am going to give him a good score, like 7 out of 10. I thought he was, he didn't really have much to do today. <laughs> yeah, that is a good score for me. That's, that's a good score I for you. Yeah. He didn't really have a lot to do, but the one thing he had to do, he'd done it well and saved it. I thought, uh, and also there was one time in the game when he had to come out for the ball, showed that he was commanding in there and, and give him no encouragement to put crosses in there. You know, like sometimes someone throws a cross in and you've got a goalkeeper flapping or something yeah. like that. He'd come out there and said, no, you ain't doing that. I thought we had a very, very good game today. What, what save did you like of his? The one that hit the post. Should he have caught it? I, thought he, <laughs> I actually thought he could have controlled it on his left, put it up on his right. But listen, he done his job today. Yeah, That's all that matters. Seven? Eight. Yeah. Commanded his box. Too, too nice, Robbie, too nice. No, no, listen, Second commanded, ten. <laughs> commanded his box, kept a clean sheet. Made an unbelievable save, yeah. um, you know, mm. which, you know, at the time, remember, he's nil-nil. Yeah. Right? And I thought, you know, and distribution was great. Remember that great distribution he did to... Saka. Was it Saka? Yeah, he played over the top. Yeah, he, listen, he had a very good game today. You know what I mean, everything was calm, playing out from the back, 8 out of 10. Very good game from Real. Very yeah. good response. Uh, I thought the other night he was not at fault for that goal. Um, but, yeah, no, okay. um, 8 out of 10. OK, Lee's going 7, you're going with 8. Let's go to right back, Ben White. Yeah, good game for Ben yeah, White. Very Solid good, performance, you know. I mean, you know, he's had a little bit of criticism the other night for letting the cross come in. But I think solid today. Yeah. wasn't spectacular, but defended very well. Um, and did nice bits going forward as well. I'd give him a seven. Oh, seven, like that. Okay. But it's just a very average performance no, of seven, no, like, no, yeah. no, no, but going back to the rare thing, that save he made, that is a good that's point. like a goal being scored. That's an excellent save. You watch it again. Reflex save that, that that could have been easily a goal. Um, that was an important moment. It was nil nil. Suppose they scored that, we're in problems. I'm going so, I'll go yeah. Ben White, but yeah, Ben, seven out of ten. I thought, you know, not an eight, no, no, because he was he, he just done his job today. I, I, I'll, I'll be really honest with you. You got to look at it and say, was he spectacular? No, but did he do his job? Yeah, one it hell of a 100% he did. He'd yeah. done everything that he had to do. So, I thought it was a good, solid performance for him. Seven out of ten, okay, William Saliba Lee. Seven out of ten as well. I thought, like you know, he, he played really well again, coming out with the ball, looked solid. I thought him and Gabriel were back to their, you know, like the, 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 what we expect from yeah. them. Uh, and listen, they didn't have a real lot to do against it. You know, they wasn't really, uh, they didn't have that many forwards or whatever. Like, and they played a very, very uh, defensive sort yeah. of game against us. But you still got to be out there concentrating and everything like that. Seven out of ten. Yeah, he did have a recognised striker for a bit, lot of long patch of that game. Seven out of ten he's gone with. Yeah, clean I sheet. I agree with that. This, this, I agree with that. Yeah. Seven out of ten, clean sheet. You know, um, just went about his business very well. OK, his partner, Gabriel Magalhães. I'd give him the same. You know what I mean? Again, a great partnership today. Solid at the back, untroubled. Seven out of ten. Interesting. Agree with that, Gabriel Magalhães? Yes, seven out of ten, yeah. I felt that there, there was some real good moments when he pressed and made some real important interceptions today, which probably go under the radar. I thought, if I'll be honest, out of the two, he probably just nicked it, if, yep. if, if I'll be honest. But yeah, seven out of ten for me. OK, you've got agreed on that. I'll see if you agree on this next player, mm. Jakob Kivioli. You're going to go with me first? Yeah. I'm going to give him a seven, and I'll tell you why I'm going to give him a seven, because cool. I felt, you know, um, first 20, 25 minutes, he struggled a little bit, but he hasn't played for a couple of games, so he was chucked in at the deep end. <clears throat> and the one thing I'm going to give him a lot of praise for is that, that he could have crumbled, but he didn't. He, I, and I thought from that moment on, that Raya save, yeah. after that, I thought he, he upped his game. And, and in the second half, I don't think he was troubled whatsoever. Okay. So that's why I'm going to give him a seven. So Lee's giving Kivio the same rating as Ben White. You agree? No, I'll give him a six um, because I thought he was having a bit of torrid time in the first half. They you know, getting him in behind him. I mean, he was missing, misjudging headers and yeah. things like that. And that goal, sorry, that chance that they had was from a mistake that he made. But where I do agree with Lee, I felt that he recovered very yeah, well in the yeah. second half. 
He was solid in the second half. He did really, really well in the second half. But you also got to take into account, he can't get the same marks as the other guys because they were solid. He wasn't solid for the whole game. So, but fair, credit, fair point, yeah, fair, fair fair. Point, yeah but point. credit to him, nice, you know. <laughs> yeah, but credit to him, he's re he recovered very, very well because like Lee said, you can easily crumble. You can easily like fall yeah, apart your game and yeah. it didn't. So, um, I give him a six. And credit to Mikel for keeping him on and, and him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He backed him, he backed yeah. him and, yeah. and he repaid him. Yeah, because you've seen Mikel tell, tell be harsh and take people off at that, at that stage. Let's go to Teclan Rice, Robbie. Declan Rice, I thought today was superb. Really good. Driving force in the midfield, broke up play brilliantly. Um, I thought he was fantastic today. He's back to his best. That's an eight, an eight out of 10. Probably my man in a match today. I thought he was superb today. Eight, same as Ryle. I'd always give Deck a 10, but like, I'll, I'll actually go along with the eight today. One thing that I was more impressed with, and all that things that you say about winning, his passing was on point today. Like, but I, lo I just loved his energy today. It looked like he, he was energised again. Like, you know, he found it a little bit difficult the last couple of games. But I, I, I'm going to be really honest. I'll say it now. If he doesn't play in that game, I don't know if we win that game. That's how good he was today. Mm. Like, but, you know, look, eight out of ten is a... You know, he's a nine and a ten normally. Like, you know, eight out of ten is an average for Declan Rice. Yeah. So you, but, so you stick with eight? Yeah, I'll go with Robbie on that. Like, I don't think he was like, you know, it's a, it's a game where you expect Declan Rice to have an eight. Mm. Do you know? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I, I love the way he was carrying the ball, picking up the ball, driving through yeah. midfield. You know, what I mean, I thought that was brilliant. I want to see more more of that from him. That's what's required when you come up against teams where you've got a lot of players behind the ball, which Wolves did today. Yeah. Okay. Is he your man of the match as well or not? Or you got someone yeah, else? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. My man of the match. Okay. My man of the match. Just want to make sure. Okay. Let's go to our captain, Martin Odegaard, Lee. Do you know what? Martin Odegaard, I'm going to be really honest, was on a six for me. <laughs> he was on a six. But six. the goal, the goal. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. He was on a six. He was yeah. on a six. But I didn't think he was at his best today. Again, you can't knock his work rate, but yeah. it just didn't seem to be happening for him. But when it mattered, He's come up trumps with a goal, you know. And listen, for that, the relief in my body was was <laughs> unbelievable when that goal went in, like, you know, because you knew we got the win. Yeah. Um, and I, I felt that that move, he, he, you know, it was a, a smart finish. He, yeah. People can say it's lucky, but he kept himself composed. But it won his one of his better games, but he still picked up a seven, or ten, 7 out of 10, and he's also scored and contributed. And that tells you what a good player he is. Exactly, 7 out of 10. Yeah, yeah, I think 7 out of yeah. 10 is fair. Um, before that, hadn't done much, but he, everything that he did do, he did okay, mm -hmm. you know, without being spectacular. But that goal was an important goal, and he took it. The finish was an excellent finish, by the way. Yeah, it was. Tight angle, you know, um, the ball's really come back it, to yeah. him. You yeah, know, he's trying to cut it back. That didn't come off. Bang. Um, and that won the game, game done. I mean, good captain's performance once again. Showed a lot of energy. I was worried, I was worried today about the energy of the team after the other night. But we look fresh and yeah. we look we look right up for it. Um, so yeah, good, good performance by him. Yeah, seven out of ten then, so we've gone with that. I, it is your turn. I want to go back to Lee because I know how much he was raving about this player, Kai Havertz. Yeah, like, listen, I thought we had a very, very good game today. Um, it, I, I, I always watch him closely. I think everything that he'd done, he'd done well, you know. Um, mm. uh, and I felt that at times when he has to pass the ball, we passed the ball. And he, his decision making was really good today. He put himself about. There's a couple of times nicked the ball and, and, and laid off good opportunities. And I, I think that the, the biggest compliment I can give him is that everybody's been turning around and going, oh, he can't play in that what, number eight position. He can't, don't, you know, he's got to play up top. He'd done that. And then, and I thought he'd done it very, very well. Some runs from deep were really, really good. Um, nothing spectacular, I'll go on to that. But I thought he was very, very solid eight for me today. An eight? Wow, so same as Rice, yeah, your man of the match. Ooh, eight, I'll probably give him a seven. But I thought... He was excellent today as well, worked his socks off, held the ball up well. Seems to be playing multiple positions, played in midfield, later on played as a striker, okay, yeah. force number nine. Worked hard for the team, really, really hard. Lots of unselfish work. Um, you know, I, I thought he was good today. You know what I mean? That, that, that's what you've been getting all season from Kai Havertz is that like, he's a real team player. Um, and yeah, I thought I thought he, but I'd give him a seven. seven. I, I wouldn't give him an eight. I'd give him a seven. Okay, that's, that makes sense. You know, your man of the match is eight. Let's <laughs> for Kyle Saka, Robbie. Saka I thought played all right today. You know, what I mean, without being spectacular. You know, what I mean, he was always a threat down that side. He had that chance that time. Well, I thought he done brilliant, man. He took he took on about three players, yep. and he tried to do that little skill where he, he tries to roof skills, it. Yep. You know, what I mean, and he's a bit unlucky that he didn't score. What spat spectacular today, but I'll probably give him a seven. You know what I mean? I thought he was decent today. Um, 
<laughs> I'm definitely going low than that because whatever you give him is one eye than what he should be. So I like. Well, I, don't I, think he was a seven I know. Today. I don't think he was a seven today. I thought he done okay. There was bits that he looked good in, like you know. But this is not the sacker that I I love and adore. If I'll be really honest, you know. That's fair. What I mean? that's fair. Uh, six out of ten for me today. So hold on, hold on. You're giving Kivior an eight. No, you said a, a, you give Kivior a seven, seven, but you're giving a sacker a six. Yeah, you know because I, do you know why? Because I the expectations of Saka yeah. are a lot more more on me, like you know. I I I, I don't expect Kivia to be in eights and, and nines. I do with Saka, and, and rightly so. You know, he's a top top player. I didn't think he had a bad game. I thought you know, I mean, I thought it's, you know, it's a bad game then. It's above average. It's slightly above average. Yeah. I think he was a little bit better than that. Um, personally, without being spectacular, I'd I'd give him a solid seven. That's just me for the game today. I don't think he done anything. Unbelievable, but I did think, you know, I mean, he patterns a play, build up play. I thought he did all right. Robbie's got sack of boxes, I hear. Well, I, I understand that, like, you know, <laughs> apparently, apparently he's got new balance socks, you know what I mean? But I don't know. But what, what do you reckon? You no, I, I'm, I think. I, I'm, what, are I'm, yeah, what are you giving him? Everyone says I have an agenda, so no, I would say six. I would say six as well. Six. Yeah, yeah. We, we expect, we expect so much from him, and listen, it's just. It's six? A, yeah. No, he weren't a six, man. Everyone, Look, even Saka? people out there are saying no way. Six, 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 seven, six, seven, seven, six, there's six at the back. We don't, yeah. we don't count Julian because yeah. we don't know nothing about football. <laughs> six at Jason, the back. Jason, what are you saying? Seven or six Saka to Saka. Today? Seven. There you go. Oh, <laughs> comments? This yeah, is for you. Cool. Comments? No, comments. You, you, you know, Jason's Jason, Jason, on the payroll and wants to get home. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. say about these people, you know what I mean? This is what I've got to deal with. You know but I mean? love you, Saka. You're right. a favourite. No, anyway. no, no, Saka. Saka haters. No, no, we're not haters, are we? Are, we are. How can you give him a six for today? He, he wasn't... Well, 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 you gave you a seven. And you no, gave Saka. You've been arguing with anybody else since <laughs> Saka comes in. Yeah, no, he, he loved it. Like, yeah. The surprise, that's Love. all. Anyway, right, yeah. comments for you. Anyway, let's let's go to Martinelli. Uh, no, sorry, Trossard for you today, Lee. Seven. Let's do that. Seven. Yeah? Seven. I thought there were yeah. times that he, he weren't great, but listen, great goal. And I, I, I thought, you know, proved the manager right today. I weren't happy with it, like by by leaving Martinelli out. I'm going to be really honest, but. Yeah come in and done the job. And I thought, you know, he played really, really well, contributed with the goal and was a threat. I have to say that, like, you know, and uh, he scores important goals for us. I've he got does. to say that. And uh, um, say seven, yeah? Yeah, Let's seven check. out of 10 for me today. That's a check. Okay. No, no, to me, it's like eight. You know what I mean? That goal is so massive. Did he mean it? Well, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. No, you know like, I thought it was a great strike, actually. Whether he meant it or not, only you'd be able to tell you. But listen, we've seen him do stuff like that. If it was Zachary, he would have been right. <laughs> Listen, for me, Trossard is at eight. at eight. That goal is absolutely massive. We're in the game. We're getting towards half time. We've dominated the game, but it's still nil-nil. Nerves will start to set in and that. That, scared, that goal settled the nerves. That game, that goal won us the game. That won us the game. You might be right. That's an eight for me. That's a, sometimes, right, massive moments in a game deserve big plaudit and he's the one he's taken up the shot whether you think he completely meant it or not he took the shots yeah. first time bang boom right. eight so same as Rice for you so he's, he's, yeah, he's yeah. on he's ma Rice is my man of the match but Trossard gets an eight that goal's huge I think, I think he makes good points yeah, he, he does make a good point and, and, but the one thing that I would just be a little bit slightly on, on for that I felt their decision making from the, from the front three at times mm. wasn't quite what I wanted because you know mainly because there's a little yeah, bit of pressure on decision. Them. <laughs> Bang! Yeah, yeah, it was a very good decision, but I, I, I see him go through and try and one with his right foot and put it straight to the goalkeeper. Well, you know, yeah, when sure. we had players available. Listen, I'm, I'm not going to argue with, yeah. with, with it. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's listen. That go, the first goal is massive, and it, and it was a fan, fantastic finish. It was a good goal. So Lee's gone seven. You gone with eight. Let's go to Gabriel Jesus, Robbie. Thought we played well today. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, again, he was one of the players that I was sort of. I'm keeping my eye on him a bit because Definitely. I was a bit disappointed with him um, against Bayern. I was disappointed with him against, um, you know, uh, Villa last week. And I was like, yo, you need a game, Jesus. And I thought he played very well today. Very instrumental in the first goal. You know what I mean? He could easily have stayed on the floor. He didn't. Got back up. That's true. Um, had an assist. And looked yeah. lively throughout the game. Like, lively. Back, seemed to me to be back to what we are used to seeing from Gabriel Jesus. And I thought he had played a very important role in the game. I um, mean, Arsenal's performance. And... Um, should he have shot when he took that when he chopped, tried to chop the defender? Yeah, is, maybe. Is it coming to predict Maybe. Now? 
But yeah. probably um, seven. Seven, I'll give him. But I thought he had a good game. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go along with that seven as well. I thought, like, the first goal, <clears> you know, we don't get that if it weren't for his magnificent bit of skill. Mm. Could have been a penalty if I look back on it, but he didn't. He got up and, and, and set it off for... Uh, for Trossard, I thought his work rate was really, really good today. And today, I felt like, not like against Villa, I thought he was always a threat today. Yeah. Even though at times he wasn't the right decisions or whatever, I still feel he was a bit of a threat. I thought he worked himself into the to the ground. It's not the Jesus before yeah, the injury. That's, that's, I'm, I'm going to be really honest yeah. about that. Like you know, he's I playing through pain. He, yeah. I, whatever it is, you can yeah. see that. But you know, he still offers you something, yeah. and I think a seven out of ten is a fair one. Okay, that's fair. Let's go to our subs. Let's start with Gabriel Martinelli. Yeah, I thought, I mean, I'm probably going to give him a six because um, he didn't really have a lot of time to do anything. But I thought when he was through that time, square the ball, man. He tried to go for goal. I thought he was a little bit greedy there. Square the ball. And I think we'd add another goal there. But listen, um, went on for long, six. I swear he was going to go five and I was going to go oh, six. You were going to go mad then, weren't you? Just, he 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 when he started doing it, he tapped me. I, I swear like... he was going to go five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I can't argue that. Like, I felt that yeah, um, he came on. It's difficult to come on, and, but he held the ball up at times yeah. and kept us kept us ticking. But that that he was that, the out ball as well, yeah, wasn't he? Chance, yeah, the, the out ball. He had the chance when he probably could have played it across to uh, Robbie's mate Saka, but uh, he, he shot. But and also when he's clean through at the end there, he should have done better. But yeah. listen, he was a threat. I'll yeah. give him that. He was a threat. And, that's, and he'd done what he was asked to do, if I'll be really honest, was go out there, be a threat, yeah. stretch him and everything like that. But yeah, I, I think six, yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought he was in the five as well, that's been like, boy. Uh, Thomas Partey. Kept it ticking over nicely, yeah. kept, us, kept the shape, made it look, um, see out the game. That's mm. what I liked about it, see out the game, didn't do nothing spectacular, six out of 10, kept the ball, kept it neat and tidy. And um, it's good to have him back. Yeah, I didn't really see much of Fonsfire yeah, when agree, he's on. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Agree with that. Six, six, yeah. Okay. Let's go to the referee, Robbie. I thought his referee was all right, to be fair. You know what I mean? There wasn't really no incidents in the game. He kept the game flowing. Gave a lot of yellow cards thought, out. But yeah, I thought, I thought he, yeah, and I thought the yellow cards he gave was fair. You know what I mean? There was maybe a shout for a red, but yeah. I think when I look back on it, it wasn't a red. It was yellow was the right. I thought the referee did all right, actually. Seven. Yeah, I'll go along with that seven. I didn't really know he was out there, which is always a good thing. Yeah. Um, and I think there was some a, a tackle maybe he could have given a booking a little bit earlier on Saka but then the next as soon as he'd done the next one he did book him uh, and then you know the Declan Rice one was a booking as well if you look back on it I felt he was fair I've got to say that OK this is an important one to me Mikel Arteta today 8 out of 10 I think he got it right today I think you know this was a tough game for him today you know the, the fans I wouldn't say a uh, um, are against him. There's a lot of been a little lot so because of frustration or whatever, and, and you know, is he this and isn't that? And I've asked a few questions. He answered them today. Yeah. Eight out of ten. Yeah, I've heard a lot of ridiculous things said about Arteta this week. You know that I found baffling. Yeah. You know, to go away to Bayern Munich is always going to be tough if you haven't got a lead. Not an easy place to go to. Um, yes, it was very disappointing the Villa game, but I thought today, you know, I mean, the tactics were right. His team selection was right. And we've come away from home. We've got, you know, the win. As I said, six away games in a row without conceding a goal. Yep. That is something that is not normally done. No, that's mad. That he's done. And I hear people talking about sacking. I mean, it's baffling to me. It's, ri it's ridiculous, yeah, if no, I'm being honest. I'm Just with you. I'm with that's you. only my opinion. I'm with you. You know what I mean? But it's ridiculous. And I thought, you know, he's got to get an eight today. You know what I mean? Like, he's put the pressure back on Liverpool. And, you know, City, they had their game today in the FA Cup. But now, all of a sudden, they know that they've got to go and beat Brighton. And that's all we could do today. And, and, and he's done it. So, yeah, so well done to him. All right, before I go to the fans rating, Tommy Asu, starting to get questions over him and his fitness. Yeah, another injury, a little bit worrying. Um, I don't know the extent of the injury, but um, listen. Um, is it an issue for you? He's, he doesn't seem to stay, stay fit, or is it just... We still need him as good player. We have to wait and see what the injury is because we do have a lot of... I think what we've got to remember is a lot of games coming up, yeah. right? So if it's a little niggle, why risk it? You know, I mean, there is Zinchenko there. There is Kivio who can play in that position. So why yeah. risk it? So we don't know the... You know, as long as it's not a serious injury, because I, I think I've, I would like to see him back for that Tottenham game. OK. Yeah, but look, you know, listen, he was uh, stretched and pushed and to the limits on, on, on Wednesday yeah. and maybe this game's a bit, uh, um, a bit come a bit too soon for him, right? <laughs> you know, and you have to say that, you know, 
Mikel said in his in, uh, interview uh, before the game that there was no issues. So I think probably like a oh, little, yeah, bit, little bit tired, a little bit jaded. And I think like, you know, it's his first game back. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. OK. Fans rating. Yeah, we're going to fans. Uh, yeah, fans are nine, man. I mean, they were all out here in force, making up loads of noise. You know, and, you know, after we've had a bad week. Yeah. We've had a bad week, but they're still right behind the team. You know what I mean? And um, feel the nerves the rewards them. today. Yeah. yeah, there's nerves. <laughs> yeah. There's anxiety. Listen, it's natural. It's yeah. natural. You know what I mean? So Liverpool will have a similar thing tomorrow when they're at uh, Fulham. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's, Big game. Every game now means just so much. You know what I mean? It's so... You're not even enjoying a game. I was about to say, right are, you enjoy, are you enjoying the running? Yeah. Until you score a goal, you can't even get enjoying even the game then, because you're even just like, then. bro... My heart, <laughs> you know what I mean. But listen, um, they're out in their numbers, man. And uh, yeah. well done to the fans today. Nine. Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't really know. I was in a box today, so I didn't really hear them so much. A bit late. <laughs> and, and I will say, like that, the, the difficult thing about it is that they're all along the on the side. It's very yeah. hard when yeah. I've been in there. It's very hard to make an atmosphere in there. Yeah. But I'm going to go along with Robbie, like you know, in in their droves, full up again. Um, yeah. And at the end of it, yeah, come on. The fans are going to be a little bit nervous, nervous you know. I'm, I was nervous at the end. Yeah. I, 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 I hurting after the result. If you're, if you're an Arsenal fan and, and you love the club like we all do, you ain't not you ain't going to be sitting there going, "Ah, oh, this is a breeze," you know what I mean? No. Unless you're on drugs, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> it was really that tough. It was, it was hard. Yeah, it was. It was hard for the fans. So, I, I, I you know. We, got, we see it at the end, and what I liked at the end was the, 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 pl the players yeah, come over and all, all the fans stayed and everything like that. Fantastic, and that's what it's about. And listen, they're all going to be nervous games and all that, like, but all we can do is be here for them and yeah. support them. Try and enjoy it. And try and try and enjoy it. Try yeah. and enjoy it. But that's it for the ratings. Well, us... know, just before we go, we've got to send a big um, thank oh, yeah, you yeah. going out to Inda. Yeah, big right, up. Who invited us into his box today. He did it last year as well, and he did it again this year. Absolutely brilliant. We was in there with a load of Arsenal fans and he was the only Wolves fan <laughs> in there, right? And I could see him suffering, right? But sorry, Inda, I couldn't feel sorry for you because we needed this win today. Big but big up to Inda, big up to all the Wolves fans as well. You know what I mean? Every time we come here, you know what I mean? Like, welcoming. yeah. You and know the what club, they let us stay back. We've been in the stadium yeah, a lot of times. Yeah, there's, the there's never any animosity here and it's, it's a proper club, you yeah, know what proper. I mean? 30-odd thousand here tonight, full house. And I think they've had, you know, I mean, I ain't patronising enough, but I think they've had a decent season. They have, they have. When we come here last year, I think they were the right near the yeah. bottom of the league. I think Gary O'Neill's doing a good job. And they have got a lot of injuries at the moment, but they're a good side. Um, yeah. So big up yeah. to, to big up to Inder. Thank uh, you very yeah, much. Thank you, Inder. And he actually, actually said you shouldn't be here today because we should be playing Coventry. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, that, that's the only thing that they'll probably look at it and say there's a little mm. bit of blip on their season. Yeah. But listen... They've, they've stayed in the Premier League. Like the last time we come in, they were bottom of the league. Yeah. So they've, 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 they've come here and uh, Gary Neal, I think, has done fantastically well. And, it, you know, it's a great place to come. Yeah, big thanks to Inda. Let us know your ratings on AFTV Plus app on iOS and on the um, Play Store app. Thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you again very soon. Chelsea at home. Come on. <laughs>